You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Garnett versus Langston. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Garnett, you and your mother, Ms. Miller, have opened your case to prove to the defendant that he is your biological father. You are baffled because you consider him a daddy and a best friend and state his doubt is unwarranted and demand an apology once the results are revealed. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Langston, you claim you have always known you weren't Ms. Garnett's biological father and feel after the results are revealed, you are the one who deserves an apology. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Now, how did this all start? It started um, with a text message about a couple months ago. Okay. Um, that's not... That wasn't the very beginning, but this is why we're here. The text message brought us here. And this is um, the evidence that I brought in today. Oh, okay. Can I, can I give it to you? Please, Jerome. So, this started with a text. Mm hmm So, after um, almost two years of reaching out to my father after uh, visiting him in 2015, I um, was pleading to get him to respond. He wasn't responding. And he finally responded with this message. So, I think your mother blanked me and you about your birth father being me. She was missing around when you were born. I don't want to keep causing you pain, but I have mixed feelings about it. Talk to your mother and find out the truth. You sent this text message? Mr. Yes, Lincoln? Your Honor, I did. So yeah. why were you estranged for two years? What happened? We live in different states, Your Honor, but we had always been close. I went to visit him in Chicago for a funeral. Um, I was by his side for one of our family members, and uh, everything was great. But when I returned back home, I don't know what happened. He just cut off communication. Well, I wasn't talking to her like I normally do. Why? Because I, I, I was just harboring this gut feeling that I, I had read from the beginning that she's not my daughter. I had it read from the beginning when she was born. Really? Yeah, I did. Miss Garnett, you grew up as a daddy's girl. You say she's your best friend. He's always been my dad. I've always known him to be my dad. When I became an adult, around 21 years old, that's when we started really becoming close. Um, two years ago, when I was at the uh, funeral with him, he had brought up for the very first time that he thought I may not have been his daughter, which blew my mind. And he went on and on about him and my mother's past and all this. But then, after he vomited all this tragedy on me, he recanted and took it back. I was sparing her feeling because I seen the fact right away. And I'm not trying to hurt her. I love her. And I can see you're emotional. That, just thinking about her. But what you feel like you just have to tell the truth? I got to. I can't harbor this. What made you keep the secret that you had this <clears throat> doubt all this time? A couple of issues. One day, she used to live out south. I came through the back. Her auntie downstairs let me in. I walked upstairs. I didn't knock on the door. I looked in. I see this guy sitting on the couch with her, like he's running this game to get up on something. I knocked on the door. I said, what's going on? Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. This is my cousin. I said, hey, you can get out of here, cousin. You can leave. And... But, but, this... I don't believe it. So, you believe that she was with someone else when she was with you? Yeah, I believe that. So, Ms. Miller, who is this cousin? He was not my cousin. He was my, my sister's husband's cousin. And he, he was just a, a family friend as well. Was he someone you were intimate with? No, never. Was he at the house trying to talk to you, see if well, you have a relationship? Well, he didn't like me, but there was no way that I... Well, I wasn't inter interested in him, and I made that known to him all the time. So, Mr. Langston, what other doubts do you have? I got a play cousin. She immediately told me, because I pressured her, did you do anything with him? She kept saying no. Then she came around. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. Yeah, I, I gave him some, because he kept knocking on the door bag. So I finally gave in and gave him some. But you get me mixed up with. I'm serious. Man, don't, 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 who are don't, you getting don't, me mixed don't, up don't, with? Don't, don't play that. I'm serious. You did that. You I told me that. Who you're I swear about. on my dead father, you did that and saved wait that a to who me. Who is this? Well, get up off of that. So wait a minute, Mr. Langston. When was this that you confronted her? And why is it that you're just saying something? I was talking to her on the phone. Okay. And he, she told me who who been over there, and I said, Yeah. What are you trying to do? 
He was trying to get some. I said, yeah, did you give him some? No, I didn't give him none. I said, hey, you know how I am. If you did it, you did it. No, I didn't do it. I said, come on, you my way if you did it. Yeah, I gave him some. He, he knocking on the door. He kept on bagging and bagging. I finally gave him some. So Lord wait. is my witness. So, Miss Miller, you don't remember this conversation? I don't remember any of it. Do you remember the play cousin? I don't know who he's talking about. Do you I remember don't. the play cousin? Do you remember this person he's talking his about? His play cousin or my play cousin? He said it my was his. Play cousin. I don't know who you're talking about. Miss <laughs> Miller, when you got pregnant, mm -hmm. you knew he was the biological father? I knew he was about... Oh, he was the only one I was sleeping with. He knew, didn't he? He the one told me he was... He, he told me upon conceiving that I was pregnant. Uh, really? I don't recall well, I that. I do. I do. I, I just don't recall. I don't know how you can forget yeah. that. We talked uh, about it in 2001. Okay. <laughs> when the baby was born, Miss Garnett, did Mr. Langston participate in the birth? Not at all. He didn't have... It, it, he was just not that type of person. I didn't even expect him to. Did he sign the birth certificate? No. I paid child support. Not only 18 years, I paid it 20 years. But they started start? sending me checks back for overpayment. 1,700, 800, 1,000, 500. So send how come overpaid. you didn't take send, that send, 100, uh, $1,500,000 send, send, send and, and me. pay for a DNA test went out before I turned 36 years I'll old? I'll tell you, I, hey, well, I'll tell fun. you why. I have, an, I have an answer for you, Your Honor. I got a birth certificate right here saying that what do you see? Let me see that, Jerome. This birth certificate says what, sir? I'm not on that. Because you didn't come problem. to sign it. You have to come to I'm sign it. I'm not there. It. So, well, if I'm not in there, why did you took $100,000 from me? I ain't took nothing from you. The child support did. The state took it, not me. Your Honor, he was thinking that it's a possibility that she wasn't his. I took myself to a hospital and I had a DNA test done. He never followed up. For him not to turn around and follow up, and I thought it was the end of it. When, when he didn't follow through, and he was always a part of her life from that point <laughs> on, and I thought that he came to his senses and he realized that she was his, because he never asked. He never said anything else about that until now. So, Ms. Garnett, tell Mr. Langston how you do feel in this moment. When he sent that text to me... That's crushed. I cried my hardest cry. Oh, baby, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I was devastated. She I was. felt like he was taking my identity away from me because I've always known I was a Langston. No problem. And no I have so much about my father. When he came back into my life when I was an adult, <laughs> it was like a piece of the puzzle was missing. And we became best friends. I found out why I was so directionally challenged, because he is. You know, <laughs> you know, just, it's just so much. You know, he's been in Chicago all his life. He still get lost. I get lost in a circle. You know, <laughs> it's just like, it's just, there's just, you know, not only the personality, there's just so many other things, and we just bonded and clicked. I don't think we would have been able to do that if he wasn't my father. You enjoyed this relationship, Mr. Langston? Listen, I didn't want to hurt her. When I had that phone and did that text, it crushed me when I pushed that button. Because I know what it, the effect was going to have on her. And I don't want to send her through that. Because I love her. So why am I going to send her through that? I didn't want to. But how am I going to deny how I feel in the inside? How am I going to do that when I got grandbabies and I want them to be my grandbabies? That would be the best news I can ever have. I ain't never flown on no plane before. I came on that plane and came here. And, uh, uh, that's something I don't do, and I'm 61 years old. But I did it, because I want to resolve this. If, if, that, if she my daughter, I run to the plane and jump on it. But the truth is, you've had these doubts, and you just felt like, I want to be able to look at this entire relationship with a clear lens. I do. Listen, this is how I look at something like this. If I can't trust myself, how am I gonna trust you or anybody else? I might do something I never did before and I look and say, you did that! <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you, you did that? So how am 
gonna trust you if I can't trust me. So I don't trust. <laughs> Jerome, I could not have explained it any better. <laughs> and I live by that. And for me to send her that text, how you think it affected me? You think I want to hurt her? That's the last thing I want to do is hurt her. If she's not my daughter, it's going to have an effect on me. Don't cry. And I want to get into grandbabies. Don't cry, Cheryl. Life. Miss Garnett, this has really affected you. It affected me. This has been very difficult, I can see. I don't want to send her through that. But I got my feelings, and I want to know the truth. Believe me, I wouldn't have jumped on no plane if I didn't feel like I wanted to resolve this situation. My eyes were bucked like this on that plane all the way to Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ms. Garnett, the court noticed during, amidst all of this confusion, you began to post on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You put this post up. Can you please step up to the uh, plasma and tell the court why you posted this? So, um, after the text message, I did some soul searching. I was just laying in my bed looking through my phone and I saw a picture of myself, this picture, and it reminded me of this picture of my grandfather. This is mm -hmm. Mr. Langston's father. And I noticed some similarities in our faces. And um, I posted it to Facebook to get some support about the situation without putting all my business out there. I said, this is my grandfather. Do you see the resemblance? You know? I even had cousins respond, oh my goodness, you look just like Papa. I never realized that. And you said people supported you in this. They did. Mm -hmm. They said, yes, you do look like your grandfather. Yeah, mm -hmm. they were even shocked. And that further made you feel like this, it gave this me man is my biological father. Yeah. I just look like my grandfather. Yes, it gave me, it gave me more comfort. Mr. Langston, do you see the resemblance to your your father? Be honestly, I, I do. But there's a thing right here. I, he, she, my father put me out. She was helping me take care of my mama. She's a good person. I ain't gonna take that from her. My father put me out because she said, I don't like how you, you treating her. So she was there in the house with my father. So... What are you trying to say? What, what are you trying what to I'm say? What I'm trying to say? I don't know. You... You done lost your mind. I ain't okay. lost my you mind. You lost your mind. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. instead of you admitting I that I I'm your you. daughter I because I look like your father... You. Well, thank you. I, I don't trust that you. You're a good person. From you. You're a good person. Ho hold on. I trust you. But I don't trust myself. Hold on, Mr. Langston. <laughs> you know... So, I, wait, I, you believe that you may not be... Miss Garnett's biological father, but you believe your father may be? I don't believe that. I'm saying there's some resemblance there and everything. Then who knows? Miss wow. Garnett, you can step I back to the podium. Knows, your dad and me. Who, who, who your knows? Your dad who and knows? me. Thank you. I know my father, as too. As much as I loved your mom, please. Miss Miller, I don't want to have to ask you this question, but I have to respectfully because we've come this far and we're trying to get down to the truth. Was there ever any type of relationship between you and Mr. Langston's father Nothing when you lived in the house with a, him? A, a, a father and daughter. I looked at him like he was my family. I looked at his mom like she was my mom. I never looked at him at any, in any other way. And so there's absolutely no doubt in your mind that Mr. Langston is your uh, daughter, Miss Garnett's no, biological no doubt, father. No doubt. No doubt. Well, <laughs> in light of all of this, I think it's time to get the results. That's right. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Garnett versus Langston, when it comes to 36-year-old Shauna Garnett, Mr. Langston, you are not the father. <gasps> are not the father? He is not her biological what? father. Now, don't look at me. Ask her who your daddy really is. <laughs> I'm gonna love you. Don't do that. <laughs> you my baby. 
You my baby. You my baby. See, Your Honor, this is what I was afraid of. Oh, my God. To see her go through that hurt that I was hoping didn't happen. Mom, we, we, there's something we're missing, Mom. Uh, uh, and it's called it another man. The DNA does not lie. Miss Garnett, I am so sorry, honey. I, I could tell from your face you were <laughs> truly shocked. <laughs> and this was not the answer you wanted. Wasn't the answer I wanted either. You will get through this. You're strong. And the truth is there to help set you free. We say that for a reason. That's what we're okay? talking about. And she's going to need you to support her as well. I got her back. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. <laughs>